understand what lies ahead and how do we go about with the market after it has reached another record high. To decipher all of this, we have on board with us Osho Krishan, Senior Analyst and uh, Technical and Derivative Research at Angel One. Along with that, we also have Sudhi Bandhyopadhyay, the Group Chairman at in, uh, Indie Trade Capital. Gentlemen, thanks so much for taking the time out and joining us. And uh, Sudhi, let me come to you first. Help us understand what uh, next, right, for the markets because uh, after uh, touching this record high, now the, the question that naturally pops up into all investors' mind is what next? Where do we go ahead? Two phases of elections are still left. And do you think the street has digested that volatility? Do you expect more to come as and when the election result uh, or the outcome comes on the 4th of June? What next for the Nifty overall? of volatility uh, you know the volatility will continue effectively till our uh, fourth uh, because there will be uh, you know uh, uh, all kind of speculation news flow the exit poll will come opinion polls will come so uh, volatility we have to brace for but having said that if you are uh, asking about the direction of the market i think we are in a phase where the market will continue to inch upwards we have seen volatility we have seen markets dipping but every dip has been an opportunity and buying has come in after every dip look at what happened even earlier this week uh, the dip came and then the buying finally came in short covering buying everything came in so i think you know we are in a very good uh, space that way uh, we have we are not seen too much of FII participation, uh, uh, you know, before yesterday, short covering, and today's, I think, also a little bit of buying. Uh, FIIs were by and large sellers. I think that is slowly changing. And uh, this, uh, to my mind, post-election will take the market to newer highs. Of course, we are at all-time highs, but we will see newer highs uh, again and again. Uh, uh, Post-election results are coming out. You know, we are we are factoring in the market is factoring in some kind of continuity uh, as far as the present government is concerned. And uh, under the circumstances, the policies, uh, 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 the, the, the by and large, the economic scenario is expected to continue in the same direction, and the market likes it. And pretty much that's the reason why market is giving it a thumbs up. All right, market is giving a thumbs up, uh, but then uh, what to do when we've already crossed the uh, all-time high? Time to hold or maybe wait to re-enter on a dip. Uh, Osho Krishnan joins in uh, to tell us more on the technical front. Osho, tell us now, 23,000 mark already tested. We've, um, uh, it was a second straight record session today also, but then now what to do? Is a case for some profit booking, uh, which cannot be ruled out for coming week, or should we hold with trailing stop loss? Now, see, overall, if we will be seeing the technical development in Nifty, then Nifty is uh, moving in a rising channel pattern. And currently, it is hovering just near the higher band of the consolidation. So I'm expecting a higher band of the uh, channel. So I'm expecting that in the coming period, there can be some kind of consolidation that can be seen near the zone of 23,080 spot levels towards 23,160. So these two are the technical zone where one should try to uh, book their profits because there can be some kind of profit booking as you have mentioned because we have seen a very strong rally from the zone of 21,800. So there can be some kind of profit booking that can be seen in the coming period and looking at the overall elevated volatility. So we are still not out of the woods that uh, there is no volatility index. Uh, volatility index is still on the higher end. So there can be some kind of strong uh, movement that can be seen in the near period but undertone remains bullish one should better to utilize dips uh, to accumulate long positions and one should even uh, try to book their profits once they are getting a decent profit for a short term per perspective but overall trend is very positive if i have to say the uh, positional move then 22800 have seen a very decent writing from the put writers and 23200 has seen a decent writing from the call writers so this is the immediate range that one can expect the market to hover in between and 22,800 should be acting as a support and one should try to book their profits around 23,200 in the coming week. All right, Osho, thanks for that view coming in. Sudeep, I'm going to come back to you. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.